anime has brainwashed me. You can see that most anime will have these scrawny 15 year old boy looking characters as the main characters and they will have some magical abilities or usually be depicted as powerful heroes. It's completely opposite of what a strong powerful hero would look like in real life. But they're magical and they look like they weigh 120 pounds and at the same time they will swing enormous swords around and repel attacks from huge bodybuilder sized characters. So when you watch something that continuously feeds into you this idea that this is what a hero looks like physically, it makes you feel that if you look like that you're superior. Some meathead that resembles El Presador ends up seeming inferior to you. That's how it feels. Even if in reality El Presador could squash me with one hand, most heroic people in the real world, like cops and military personnel, would be large, bold headed guys, not some scrawny metrosexual boys like me. Another thing is that anime makes you feel that being metrosexual is superior and that it's handsome and that's what girls love. In reality, girls want tough manly guys, not some metrosexual looking pretty boy. Maybe when they're tweens, they want some faggy looking Justin Bieber type. But as adults, they want a real man. So how is a person like me, who clings to this anime fantasy, supposed to subvert the minds of women to think of me as superior to all these rough and solid looking guys that could squash me with a flick of a finger? I even grew out my hair long just so it resembles the haircuts these anime characters usually have. But, see, a big, strong, non-metrosexual guy can support his family with doing dirty jobs if need arises, which is what makes a guy like that valuable to women. I can't do dirty jobs because I'm weak and I don't want my clothes to get dirty. Since anime characters are usually depicted as teenagers, that's how I became obsessed with maintaining a permanent teenager look and being attracted to teenage girls. Because without my teenager look, what am I? It makes me feel superior to all the ugly fuckers that just want to look big and mean. How could you not be attracted? How could you not be attracted to teenage girls in anime when they go around in tiny pleated skirts and have huge boobs dangling while maintaining anorexically thin bodies? I don't care about the size of boobs really, but that thin hourglass, almost Barbie doll-like figure in a woman is what I find to be an ideal figure in a woman because of anime. Also, as you can see, some girls wear outfits that are crop tops like this in anime. In the real world, teenage girls might be too modest to wear something like that, or maybe they're just resigned that their parents won't let them wear stuff like that. Here's where I would struggle if I was a girl who is into anime. Why can't I wear outfits like that if an anime girl can wear them? It would bug the shit out of me if someone was preventing me from that. 
Also, I'd be tempted to dye my hair purple or pink, and if someone doesn't like it, I would bitch at them that it's my natural color. Yes, I would say it's my natural hair color. I mean, why do anime girls get to go to school with pink hair and I can't? And now here we see a character wearing some kind of turtleneck tank top. I guess what I need to do is buy a woman's sleeveless turtleneck and start wearing that. Because anime has shown me countless times that it's okay for a guy to wear something like that. Well, if that's so, why shouldn't I? And anyone who says I'm wrong, I'll consider them inferior to me. So my question is, is anime controlling my mind and making me dance on its strings? Or is anime something I'm drawn toward because it supports whatever fucked up brain wiring that that I'm predisposed toward that doesn't make sense but it's my fucked up brain wiring anyway I'd probably be attracted to all this metrosexual shit and female bodies that are stick thin regardless because that's how my brain is wired even if anime did not exist because I think to a certain extent you're you're born with a certain personality. So I wonder if what is shown by the media controlling how we think and feel about what is perfect and imperfect, or is it we're drawn to a certain type of media because our brains are wired from birth to view the world a certain way, and we just cling to ideas and material from outside sources that we feel validates our existing emotions. So maybe my brain is wired for me to be a cross-dresser, but something is holding me back. So I look for things like anime to tell me that no, it's absolutely manly to wear a sleeveless turtleneck sweater like a woman without feeling embarrassed. I mean, I heard that in Japan young people are often depressed and commit suicide because they might feel physically or mentally inadequate. All this anime shit is used to inspire people to carry on and not give up. That's why most of the time an anime hero will start out completely inept, far below the level of his peers, but by training and doing his best will eventually blow everyone away by unlocking some power that makes him stronger than all those around him. That all it takes is determination and hard effort. It's a recurring theme in anime. And maybe that's why the hero is usually depicted as a wimpy, having a wimpy, metrosexual appearance. Again, to, to inspire young men like me not to feel like they are inadequate because they don't look physically like the popular football jock in their school or something. So I have all these fucked up inadequacies and strange fetishes and I cling to a piece of entertainment media that seems on occasion to validate my fucked up mind that is specifically made to validate the fucked up notions of losers like me. At least I learned to understand human emotions and relationships through anime. Up until the age of 20 I never understood why people fall in love, why people care about their friends and value them. I wanted to write stories but I didn't understand how people interact, so how was I going to write stories? And anime taught me that. Because if you have Asperger's, you need to learn social cues. That awareness of social cues is not part of your natural instinct when you have Asperger's. The exaggerated way emotions are depicted in anime can help you with that.